from Denver. This is Fox 31 News at 9. All new tonight, another executive order from Governor Jared Polis. This one requiring some people here in Colorado to wear masks and gloves. New at 9, the death toll still rising at an Aurora nursing home. And only on Fox, an employee is speaking out about the mistakes she says could be leading to more deaths. From weddings to rock concerts, four out of every 10 people have canceled events because of the coronavirus. What are your options for a refund? The problem solvers are on it. New at 9, a new scam leaving driveways destroyed. And this time the contractors are getting scammed too. The problem solvers are on it. And we're learning more about the Thunderbirds flyover saluting Denver's frontline workers. New at 9, which communities will get the view? A busy night here at 9 with an update on unemployment and nursing homes and a new mask mandate. Yeah, lots to get to. First, though, the latest numbers from the state health department. You're looking at the hospitalization numbers reported today. 62 of them reported through April 16th. The total now more than 1,700. You can see on the chart tonight that climb not nearly as steep, though, as it was a couple of weeks ago. Some leveling off there. 17 new deaths reported as of April 16th. The death toll in Colorado now at 391. That's nine short of what Governor Polis originally said was the best case scenario in terms of number of deaths by June. And 17 deaths also reported yesterday. You can see the graph levels off there at the top with that most recent data. And the case count climbed 372 today. The total now stands at 9,047 COVID cases here in Colorado. You can see here on this graph cases continue to steadily increase over the last month. Right now, a new executive order is in effect as of today, mandating all essential workers dealing with customers wear masks. It also applies to workers in nursing homes and long-term care facilities. Fox 31 Matt Morrow, Mar Fox 31's Matt Morrow showing us how the governor says this could help Colorado open up sooner than later. It's the one.